Let's see how much time it took each of these funded traders to become profitable. And if you're curious, you can also find my very own story from working in a big investment firm to going full-time trading inside my free Discord. Link in the description. All right, enjoy. I mean, it's it all happened at once, right, kind of. And I've been doing this for five years now, and I didn't see any profits, especially six figures in profits till my fourth year of trading. Mm. And then when it all happened, I guess I thought to myself, I deserve it, you know? I mm. put in so much work, I sacrificed so much, um, and just, I went through a lot of pain to be able to acquire the the achievement that I, that I have um, done. So yeah. I guess it, it is what it is, man. I, I deserve it, and yeah. I mean, I think that the reason why I was able to be where I am at my current age is because I had a, a strong reason. I had a why, right? Mm -hmm. Back when I was 17, 18, I had some financial problems with my family. Like, my family had financial problems, and I had to be the person to make money mm -hmm. for my family. Mm -hmm. And then that was the reason why I had to get into the entrepreneurship game, or I had to make money quick. Yeah. Like, personally for me, like, I kind of regret not going to college, like I told you before. Like, I want to experience the college life right yeah join clubs go to parties on the weekend but the fact is that i had to provide for my family so i had to make the sacrifice and just go all in on trading and see if i could make some money with this and give some back to my family man, which I, I was able to man i love it I, I share the same story i maybe have an obsessive personality <laughs> i spent the i spent the years i spent the year learning first and then there was the the simulate simulating trading and trying to make it actually profitable once I got to like year three, I it was pretty pivotal. I was like, okay, I've invested this much time. Am I truly going to give up after three years of like, there's no way I can do that. Or like year three, year four-ish, I was like, there's no way I can try something else now. Like dedicating that much time into something, I've got to, I've got to give it my all. Mm -hmm. So that was like the pivotal moment where, okay, I became more consistent, more profitable, consistently profitable. Mm -hmm. And that was an incredibly pivotal moment. So you went through that process then of, of the demo slash simulated trading. Yeah. Uh, what was the process of learning them for you? Um, fairly easy because I had someone mm -hmm. like tangible, touchable that was like here mm -hmm. showing me like, okay, this is how you simulate. This is the program you're going to download. This is what I use. This is how we place a trade. I mean, I had everything. I had all of the resources I possibly needed. The tricky part is I did possess enough discipline and maybe that's because my uncle was incredibly strict. But he was like, you are not going live. You're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, he, and he also made it very clear that when you do go live, it's going to feel different. Like losing money is going to feel like an actual smack instead of just this fake money. Mm -hmm. So, But I had an incredible amount of discipline to stay in the simulated markets for a year. Mm -hmm. So I had to make sure that I knew the strategy like the back of my hand before I ever even put live money. And I think that's one of the hardest things for traders because they – they want to just start making money right mm -hmm. here, right now. So they want to put it, you know, let's put some real money on the line here. Yeah. I, I had the discipline to go ahead and just stick out that entire year of just simulating. So I'm Alex. I'm uh, 24 from Italy. Uh, I started training in uh, 2018. Um, during, uh, during this year, I basically started watching everything around me in terms of uh, financial education. And uh, I had uh, difficult periods and times uh, uh, to, um, to understand the markets until 2020 when I found uh, ICT, uh, his inner circle trader. Uh, basically, I've started uh, like watching uh, Instagram advertising uh, to, in order to try and understand how this uh, financial world works. I've uh, bought some books about trading in general, about uh, understanding what trading really is. And then uh, uh, I've uh, come to um, uh, in contact with price action and technical analysis. And um, for like two years, uh, I've basically lost a lot of money because I didn't really know what, what I was doing. And then in 2020, I don't exactly recall how I met ICT, but uh, I think it was uh, for an Instagram post or something like that. And then I started studying with him. Uh, I was in the like in the private mentorship group, so I had the opportunity to sit daily with uh, my, my teacher. And it was uh, at the beginning the learning curve. Uh, the learning curve was really slow, and that's because uh, uh, the thing we are learning in terms of uh, financial education, they're really high level stuff. So you just need to. Um, allow yourself to take the right time in order to understand uh, each components 
Uh, and then uh, from, uh, I think, the beginning of 2022, I started making the first profit. So it took like uh, uh, one and a half year in order to mm -hmm. become uh, slowly profitable. Then the real profitability happens uh, like six months later at the, mm -hmm. in the 2022 during the summer. Uh, this is the moment where I start uh, really doing well. Wow, that's amazing. So I'll give some background on myself and how I got started and yep. how I got here. Yeah, so I started trading in 2020 before we really knew we were like in pandemic proper. Mm -hmm. um, my brother, I have two brothers. All three of us are software engineers, right? Um, my brother comes home one day and he's like, yeah, I quit. We were working for the same company. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, I quit, man. Um, he made our yearly salary in one month, like trading stocks, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what? <laughs> crazy. Yeah, crazy, right? Yeah. And um, so I went back to one of my friends um, that had like recently, like 2019, he had, he had quit his job, bought a crib and a new whip. He was doing Forex, right? So yeah. um, he had been trying to get me in it like two years prior to that. So my friend was in multi-level marketing though, right? So first two weeks I lost like, like 2,500, you know what I'm saying? Taking signals, US 30, SPX 500. Lose your money quick, US quick, 30. Quick, I had no idea what a lot size is. Like, you know, I, they, they said, put this number in. Uh, here's the TP, here's the stop loss. I'm like, do I use 0 0.01 or 1.0? And he's just telling me like what to do, right? And quickly blew that money. Um, I quickly saw that that wasn't the way. So I found, found a few ac uh, academies, right? Mm -hmm. um, got some education. And then um, I got funded with FTMO mm -hmm. uh, May 2021. Um, and then from there, I just focused on consistent payouts with them first. Then I, I started, I went to other few, like a few other prop firms. Um, got some more uh, accounts. And then from there, man, I just focused on payouts. And then um, I went full time. And then now I'm here, you know, um, trying to focus on getting like $2 million in, 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 um, Crazy. in capital. Yeah. So you started pretty much three years ago yeah. with trading, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. you were working at the time a full time job. Are you still working a full time job? No, 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 full time trading You're now. You're out. Yeah, now. I'm out. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, 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 it feels great, man, For to have sure. the freedom. Yeah. I got into trading like right back when I was about 18 and then took a bit of a hiatus. I went into tech um, and had a bit of a, like a tech company, gave that a go and then got back into trading in about 2018 and started learning a couple of different strategies, um, which we can get into a little bit more when we do the uh, trading part of it. And then I guess over the last, the first two years of that period was mainly just like really learning it, diving into it, back testing, forecasting, reading loads and loads of books, all the mindset stuff that you kind of have to embed into your mind in order to get to that point um, where you can kind of break through that that threshold into consistency. And then really in the last year, or since since March last year is when I started to really nail, nail it down into a particular strategy um, that I trade now exclusively. And that's and that's when I started getting into FTMO, trying to do these challenges. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously like this year's been much better where I've really hit consistency and, and got funded with you guys and then started to build up in other areas as well. You need to back your strategy initially, right? And you need to be able to back test your strategy to prove to yourself that it's actually it has a, a quantifiable edge that is profitable, right? Once you once you see that in your back testing and you can like, ad like uh, adequately identify your edge in the market when you see it, you will then have confidence that when it appears in the live market, you can take the position without being too scared to potentially enter. And then from that, you will then build consistency over time. You know, so like if I think about my first month when I was trading this as a funded account, the profit was, wasn't very large. Um, like everything was actually really tiny. And then from that, every single month is built more and more and more and more and more. And then I got more funded. I've done other prop firms. I've passed them. Um, so I think once you start proving to yourself the consistency or the, the rather the profitability of your strategy, right, mm -hmm. then you will become more and more consistent mm -hmm. because you can identify in the market when setups mm -hmm. are maybe shitter than others and you mm -hmm. really shouldn't take them. And then you just have more confidence in yourself as a trader. You have more confidence in the strategy itself as well. If you're looking for a 100% mechanical strategy to get funded and a community based on actual trading data, apply with the link in the description. If not, I watched hours of interviews just for you to compile the strategies of all these funded traders in this video right there. Hopefully it helps you out. See you soon.